Anyway, moving on from that, we have some other news courtesy of Dunks because again, like I'm not the biggest Dunk fan, I have to be honest. I've always preferred the Air Force One. That's always been my preferred sort of like shape and silhouette when it comes to that level of paneling because a lot of people say Dunks and Air Force One look similar even though they don't. But that sort of paneling, I prefer to go for an Air Force, especially with the sole, especially with the shape, especially with the colorways perfect i feel like the air force one's a perfect shoe but a lot of people prefer the dunk because it's a little bit more slim a little bit more slivet a little bit more sleek on the sh uh, fleet you know sleek on the shoe i can't understand it but for me especially now that dunks have become trendy like i fucking you know the worst thing i can do is buy a pair of dunks now because i'm gonna look at everybody else and i hate looking at everybody else i'm not really into that at all but but I may be tempted into going back into wearing dunks again after seeing these Supreme Ramosi lick dunks that are going to be coming out very, very soon. And these look amazing. I'm not going to lie. And one thing I do like about them is that they're meant to be a Dunk SB, right? But for some reason, they decided not to go for the padded tongue. It looks like either, either it's a very thin version of the padded tongue that they have because Nike and if you don't know Dunk SBs usually have a really fat tongue to sort of like you know mimic skateboarding shoes and also to kind of hold your foot in better and usually Dunk's SBs have elastic you can turn the spot Dunk SBs because of the box but usually if the tongue has an elastic straps or cost you know on the side of them to kind of keep the tongue down that usually means they're SBs and also sometimes they'll pad the tongue up and put foam in it to kind of make them fat and kind of make the shoes look a bit bouncy so from what I can see in this picture they do look a little bit different than what I would assume dunks would look like the flipping tongue. So I do like the fact that they've slimmed the tongue out and it may be a bit padded, but it doesn't have as much padding as you'd imagine. But I just like the kind of the makeup of them is perfect for me. You've got the addition of a black upper here. You've got this nice black new box sort of like suede toe box with um, the black eye lace stays. And then you've got this Ramon Lisi, um print all over here on the, on, the, on the toe box and most of the body. And then you've also got the same sort of swoosh on the dark, on the, sorry, the same sort of suede on the swoosh. What I like about this material, especially in black, is that if you're going to skate them, obviously skating these ollieing and tri and doing flips and whatnot and tricks on your skateboard once the kind of this suede rubs against the grip tape it's gonna rub up and fade up really nicely if you're wearing them day to day like i will wear my sneakers anyway if you're not skating you're still gonna break them in and they're gonna end up looking great also i like that addition because i feel like this color is gonna be really deep and dark but over time this sort of suede this sort of new buck will fade and will crack and stuff and look really good over time in my opinion i know a lot of people that are gonna buy these are gonna make sure they're fresh they're gonna have them in plastic boxes they're gonna be wear, walking like a duck to not crease them but for me i'll definitely wear these and beat them beat them into the ground i'm not gonna have these flipping looking you know pristine the whole time because i think trainers should be worn overall but these look absolutely hard i love everything about them the print is really cool as well and i think they've also meant to be a dunk high that's also coming out in white so i like that that's a pack that's involved and then you've also got like a lace jewel here in the front which i'll definitely throw away straight away I'm not really a fan of lace jewels. I always take off the lace jewels on my Air Force Ones, by the way. It always comes with this little badge, this little Air Force One thing. That's the first thing that goes, and I relace them straight away. I think those little eye jewel, lace jewel things are just lame. These things here in the front, where it says Supreme. I know a lot of people kind of like them, but I'm not a fan of them. Same thing with wearing the tags on the shoes. I kind of chuck them away. But yeah, I do like to kind of lace them up, so I'm not really good on that one. So chuck those away and get those out of here. But again... The thing that kills it for me, what I love about it, is the gum sole. I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for a black sneaker with a gum sole. Give me a black sneaker with a gum sole, and I'm there. The only thing I love more than the black sneaker with a gum sole is a black sneaker with white accents or silver accents, like a silver swoosh, a silver logo. Fucking love them. So these look really, really cool. Um, I do like these, and I'm kind of can't wait for them to come out. It says here, courtesy of Hypebeast, following initial images shared this month, on foot pictures of the SB um, Ramalizi have now been surfaced. Much like its high top counterpart, the iteration features a diverse work of the late American visual artist and boasts a black suede overlays um, across the mudguard lacing systems and medial swooshes. As previously seen, Gilded Supreme um, Dubris and the Ascent and the co branded world famous hang tags are additional. New information reveals that the collaboration will drop in July. Oh, so soon. 
for 130 dollars so make sure if you are in tune with these they definitely go and pick them up because these are going to definitely sell out especially them being black you know easy to wear dunks everyone's going to be all over them resale i don't think will be crazy but again if you actually want them to wear them then definitely check them out but i have heard people saying that buying from the supreme website has been really easy nowadays or these days because of the switch to shopify because before they were linked up with this platform called splay that used to kind of handle their back end sort of stuff and whatnot but now they switch um to kind of full shopify integration and obviously you know they kind of know how to run shops and whatnot so, and e-commerce so they've been able to kind of i guess um alleviate some of the problems they had previously or maybe just the stock has increased who knows but i've heard a lot of people saying that it's far easier to cop on supreme now obviously if you wait hours you're not going to get what you want but if you're you know if you basically check the site around drop time which i think is like 4 p.m 11 a.m i forgot what time it is but usually around those type of times when things are meant to be dropping you can definitely check out and get a lot of easy stuff without having bots and whatnot which is pretty cool to see so i can't wait for these to release when they do finally come out um the ramalizi um supreme um nike dunk clothes they're also going to be coming out in dunk highs and they should be out in july according to the information of uh, courtesy of Hypebeast. And $130 isn't too bad as well. If you can get those for retail, I recommend checking them out. I recommend checking them out. 